people's mowers, blowers, trimmers, whatever it may be, sat all winter, a few months, never been used, and didn't put stabilizer in the fuel, and you get <laughs> what you saw before this part of the video. So I'm going to show you how to use stabilizer properly, how to keep water from forming in your fuel tank when the temperatures rise and fall, forms condensation, how to avoid that, and how to make sure that your mower, blower, trimmer, or whatever it is, is going to start right up next year when you go to use it. If fuel is stored and, let, and allowed to sit in a fuel tank for over a period of a month or so, depends on the quality of the gasoline it varnishes or it gums up as they call it, it can gel and here's a perfect example of a fuel pump that varnished up after sitting over a period of a long time without being used this stuff literally became as hard as a rock and caused this fuel pump to function no longer the way to avoid this is to use a fuel stabilizer which prevents the fuel from gelling up or varnishing inside the carburetor and the fuel lines of your engine. If your fuel lines or carburetor is all gummed up, or even the fuel pump, if it's all varnished up, your engine will not run, period. This is the key to a healthy engine. The most common brand is Stabil, as you see here, but there's other brands, they work just as well. There's directions on the back on how to use it, follow their instructions. But this video is just a general idea of how to use this. First, you'll want to start with a full tank of fuel. And, uh, yeah, that wheel was already bent, so don't worry, I didn't bend it when I did that. Once you have a full tank of fuel, add the stabilizer. This brand tells me to use one ounce for every two and a half gallons of fuel. And it's a little difficult to see, but they have measurements there on the side. This is a quarter ounce, this is a half ounce. So you would put two of these in, filling up to this line here for two and a half gallons. Well, most homeowner lawnmowers only have a tank that holds <laughs> not near that much. So how much do you put in? Well, one thing you have to remember is you don't have to worry about putting too much of this stuff in. For trimmers, blowers, small mowers like this, I just simply put a quarter ounce in. Squeeze the container to fill the fill this portion up here to your desired amount. Then, ensuring that this cap is screwed on tight, dump the stabilizer into the fuel tank. Just like so. Don't forget to put the lids back on, or caps, whichever you prefer to call them. Next, start the engine up and run it for about five minutes to ensure that the stabilizer gets in the carburetor and throughout the engine. When the engine has run for five minutes, shut it down. After the engine shut off, top the fuel tank off, get it as full as you safely can without spilling any, and that will pre prevent condensation from forming in the fuel tank when the temperature rises and falls throughout the winter. Once that's finished, you can have confidence in your small gasoline engine that it will fire right up for you next year when you need it most. And this will work for any gasoline engine, two or four cycle of any size. 